Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with May favorites. I realize we're halfway through June, but we're doing May. These are lifestyle favorites. I have one makeup item that I don't want you to miss a sale on. So I'm gonna slip that into this one. And I hope this doesn't look different. It feels very different because I usually record on a webcam and I'm on my phone. So I hope this looks okay. But um, anyway, I am just gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna start with a makeup favorite that is on sale. And this is not a new item, but it's newer to me and maybe to some of you or you might have it in your collection and wanna get it back out. It's this It Naturally Pretty. It's on sale on the It website for $25. And I love this. I have been using this every day for about a week and a half. I love it every time. These shadows remind me of like a Tarte shadow or a MAC shadow. They don't have a lot of fallout. They're pigmented, but not overly. They're not overly soft, but they go on great. And um, I just, I love these. These are all matte. There's cools, there, there's warms, lots of dark shades, mid-range shades. This is just a great palette and I really love it. $25 on the IT website right now. And now I'm gonna jump into the lifestyle. And I'm gonna start with some Kendra Scott jewelry that I got for my anniversary. And I have some of it on. These earrings are the Presley Love Knot Open Frame. And I love them. They are really light and, you know, different from the hoops I normally wear. So I really love these um, Presley Open Knot. And then this is the necklace that goes with that, the Presley Knot Necklace. I've got it linked. Hold on. Yeah, Presley Adjustable Strand. And this is it. And that's what I love so much about it. It's an adjustable strand. This little closure right here, you pull on that and you can make it as long as you want it or short like a checker. Like I could wear it down like this as a necklace, but I have it pulled up like a choker. And I love this necklace. Then I also got some hoops that I love. These are called the Maggie Hoop. And look at that, they are like, lace and they're really light, beautiful. I get compliments every time I wear these. I love them because they show up from underneath my hair and they can be casual or dressy, light as air. I just, I love these. Then I got another choker. This is not adjustable. This is just a short strand, real delicate. And then let me hold it up really close so you can see it like that. These little kind of little knobbies on it. Ah, oh, this is so pretty too. So I love all this Kendra Scott jewelry. I will link all this down below. Okay, next, fragrances. And specifically, I do have one fragrance I wanna show you, but specifically nighttime fragrances. Fragrances that I spray on at night just to give me a little lift. It just gives me a little joy. And I am loving my nighttime fragrances. And I have vlogged those, my favorites. So I'm gonna cut to a vlog and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you my nighttime fragrances. And then another fragrance. My sleeping fragrances. These are the ones I have so far. My, I would say my favorite of my sleeping fragrances is the Black Opium. And that may sound kind of heavy, but black opium, when it's sprayed lightly, is a very nice and very strong a vanilla, like a spicy vanilla. And I just spray it very lightly and it is very nice for sleeping. And then I just got these two in and I really like them. And these are by Philosophy and they're the fresh cream scents. And one of them is just fresh cream. And I will tell you that's so light, I can barely smell it but it is lovely over the Boom Boom Cream, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I love this so much. I have a full size of this on the way. Love it. And I'll put the notes on the screen of that. It's pistachio and just a very warm pistachio almondy vanilla scent. And it is warm and beautiful. This is very nice layered with one of these. And then I also got the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. One of you girls told me about this and I love it. And I think these are very reminiscent of the Boom Boom Cream. Not quite as strong, 
but um, they kind of remind me of the Boom Boom Cream. So these are all of my favorite sleeping scents and I am loving doing that. Just adds a little bit of joy to the end of my day. I love it. And then while we're over here, I'll just go ahead and talk about, let me move my remote, talk about my next favorite. And that is, I am still loving my Kiss Nails. I had those in my last favorites video and I wear the short square French kiss nails but I put these out here so you could have an example of the kiss nails so you could see a box but these are the ones I usually do well I got on Amazon and ordered some more kiss glue and this is maximum speed kiss glue and I really like this at first I was using super glue and I like that but I always have trouble with my bottles like the cap will get stuck on the bottle or it'll dry out. I just don't handle the super glue that well and I seem to do better with these. So I just have a little Ziploc bag of all my Kiss glues and I do have a super glue in there, but I'm mostly using my Kiss glue. And I ordered this package on Amazon so that I would have plenty and I really like it. I would say this makes my um, nails last for a little over a week maybe a week and a half. So not as long as the super glue, but um, easier to handle for me. So I'm loving my Kiss Glue. And while we're out here and I've just talked about my sleeping fragrances, I also have a daytime fragrance that I am loving. So we will come in the bathroom where it is and I will show you a new, this is a first impression, but it is a definite favorite. And that is the Terry Mugler Angel. I've had this mm, about a five days, four or five days, and used it every day since then, and I like it more every time I use it. Now, I will tell you, it is a stronger fragrance and very distinct, different than anything else I have. I'm going to read you the notes, but I usually like something sweet or sweet and warm, or a gourmand that is just edible, like vanilla, almond, cherry, berry notes. And this is very different. The notes are, the notes are hedione, I won't put that on the screen, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Bergamot, honey, red berries, and vanilla. Has melon, coconut, I don't smell that. Tonka bean and vanilla rounds. Um, now I'll tell you, this is the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette, from my understanding, are very different. I would recommend that you get a sample of it or try it in a department store and not blind buy this. I got very lucky. I think people either love it or really don't. <laughs> so anyway, but I love it. I love the Angel by Terry Mugler. Okay, and then along with fragrances, I am loving three websites where you can order samples. And about a year ago, I talked about the Perfumed Court where I ordered samples of the Tom Ford fragrances. Heard about this from Melissa55 first, several years ago. And I love the Perfumed Court, I still do. And their customer service is great. But since then, I have also found a website called Lucky Scent and scent split. And they all do these little samples of perfumes. And I love them. It is just such a great way to try fragrances before you buy them. I will tell you, a lot of times I'm allergic to fragrance. So I'm so grateful to have samples before I buy full sizes and have allergic reactions. Okay, next I have a few clothing items for you. And the first one, these are all from a store called Mango. And I heard about Mango on Everyday Edit. It's online and I love their clothes. Very reasonably priced and I love the quality. And the first top I wanna show you is the one I have on. This is so comfortable and I hope you can see me. Um, it has puff sleeves and like a little eyelet kind of detail. It is kind of thin, so I have a cami underneath it, and then it's real loose. So I wear this with jeans, I wear it with leggings. Today I have it on with leggings, and it's slightly cropped, so I have this cami hanging out from underneath it, but it's long enough to tuck into jeans. And I love these tops so much. I got two in white. And then I got it in pink. And I love this one. These are so comfy with jeans, leggings, 
so comfortable. And this pink one doesn't show through as much, so I don't have to wear a cami underneath it. But they're just a little bit cropped, so I like to leave that cami kind of hanging out from underneath it. Then I got this one. This one is a little more cropped and a little more fitted, but I love these puffed sleeves. And with something high-waisted, this will be so cute. And I'll leave a description and link all these down below. I've got more stuff headed here from Mango. One of my favorite finds of the year so far is Mango. Okay, next, I have a couple of TV shows for you. And the first one I just finished, and it was so good, and I've loved it. So I'm going to... Um, Skip over to the vlog. Okay, y'all, I am vlogging my next favorite TV show because I just finished it. And I don't want to forget how much I loved it and why. It is Reckoning on Netflix. And a lot of you girls told me about it over on Instagram and loved it, and I loved it too. I would describe it as very much like a James Patterson novel. It is serial killers, a lot of good characters that you really care about, and it was excellent. So, if you're looking for a really good show, this was a really good one on Netflix. You really get involved with the characters. You get involved with um, both sides and learn their backstories and the demons they're fighting with. Now, I will say it could be considered a little bit on the disturbing side. If serial killer type stuff bothers you, just kind of watch it cautiously because it could, I think, be considered a little bit disturbing. But I was okay watching it by myself. So it wasn't too scary, but it could be considered a little bit disturbing. So anyway, I loved it. I think there will be a second season of it because there were cliffhangers all over the place at the end of it. It was excellent. Okay, and then the next two shows I heard about on Instagram from Melissa55, they're both on a channel called Acorn, and it has British TV on it. I pay $6 a month, and I will tell you the $6 this month was worth it because two of my favorite shows were on there. The first one is The Secret. It's about um, two people who are married who have a, an illicit affair and what happens after. And it goes on for years and what happens to their families and to them based on a true story. And it was um, excellent. It was a really good show. I marathoned it in about two days. And the next one is Dead Water Fell. And it had the same kind of mood to it. Okay, I'm going to read what it says about that. In this complex and fascinated mystery, fascinating mystery, physician... Tom and his teacher wife lead a seemingly perfect life in a Scottish town. Then a fire ravages their home one night, forcing those closest to them to question everything they knew about their friends. I love that. When you think you know everything about friends and the town and secrets are coming out, that's what this is. You know, people that think they know each other and then they find out that the people that are really close to them, friends or family, um, have lost their minds and are a little bit crazy. So anyway, this was excellent. And the lead in this is David Tennant from Broadchurch. If you liked Broadchurch, you will love both of these shows, I think. Okay, next, something that has really been getting me through stressful days. Everything that's going on in the world and kind of the turbulence, and there's been some turbulence in my own family. We've had some deaths in my family. I have started meditating again. I have gotten back out my insight timer and started meditating again, and I am loving it. If you are finding that the news in the world is just getting you down, and there's a lot of stress, add any kind of personal stress on top of that, and that is some stress. So I have really started meditating daily, and it is making the biggest difference. It just calms my mind down, and I kind of start taking that out into, I don't kind of, I do take that out into the world with me. I start to get stressed and I find myself focusing on my breathing, going inward, you know, to a quieter, stiller place. It only takes me about two sessions before I start really taking that into my life with me. And I love it. And Insight Timer is still my favorite. And my favorite um, instructor over there is Sonic Yogi. And then I just found a new lady. I took a course, or I listened to a course, called 10 Days to Deeper Meditation by Mich Michelle Duvall. I have the information down in the description box. 
it was excellent. I learned so much from her. One of those is I was meditating wrong. I was clearing my mind and really sometimes almost falling asleep. Sometimes I would get so calm that my watch would register a nap on my sleeping app. Well, she calls that a sinking mind. And you don't want an overly thinking mind during meditation, but you also don't want a sinking mind that's almost between sleep and awake. It's so relaxed. It's supposed to be more of a calm focus. I had no idea. So I'm working on that. And then another thing was not to empty my mind, but to refocus on my breath and a calmer inner place instead of emptying my mind and almost going to sleep while I'm meditating. Instead, I'm focusing on my breath, which makes that, I can take that out into the world. I tried it yesterday at the orthodontist. I did that while she was cleaning my teeth. I had gadgets all in my mouth. That usually makes me panic. It did not at all. I focused on a vent <laughs> that was over my head. I just focused and I focused on my breath. I was totally relaxed the whole time. So if you're stressed, the Insight Timer, all this will be down below. It is amazing. And then I have got some spiritual items that I love this month. So if you're not spiritual, thank you so much for visiting me. I appreciate you more than you know. And you can click off now if you don't want to hear the spiritual items, but I've got some good ones. The first one is a book, a devotional book that one of you girls sent to me. I cannot tell y'all how much I love this book. It's called Streams in the Desert by L.B. Kalman. Every day, y'all, every day she says something I need. And I have highlighted one. And I'm going to read an excerpt of one of these. And it will just show you how, uh, you know, kind of the style. And every day when I read this, it speaks to me. And I have loved every single day I've read. Okay, on June 12th. Have you ever seen people who through some disaster were driven to great times of prayer? And have you noticed that once the disaster was long forgotten, a spiritual sweetness remained that warmed their souls? It reminds me of a severe storm I once saw in late spring, one in which darkness covered the sky except where the lightning violently split the clouds with its thundering power. The wind blew and the rain fell. What devastation there was. The storm uprooted even the strongest of oaks, and not one spider web escaped the wind, despite being hidden from view. But soon after the lightning was gone, the thunder ceased and was silent, and the rain was over, a western wind arose with a sweet and gentle breath, chasing the dark clouds away. For many weeks after the storm, the fields raised their hands full of heavenly fragrant flowers toward the sky. And all summer long, the grass was greener, the streams were filled, and the trees, because of their lush foliage, cast a more restful shade. All of this because the storm had come. And then there's an, another little poem. This is so good. It speaks to me every day. Now, I, I think last month I had another devotional book in here. Hang on. I did. It was Paul David Tripp, New Morning Mercies. I still love this, and I still read this every day. I read this in the morning. I read this in the afternoon and in the evening around five o'clock, I meditate because right now with all the stress, I'm keeping my eyes on God and it is making me so peaceful. I really don't feel stressed. Am I concerned? Sure. Am I praying for the world? Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm keeping my eyes on him and it is keeping me so peaceful. And so in the morning, I'm reading New Morning Mercies. In the afternoon, I am reading the streams in the desert and this is amazing i'm ordering about five copies for everybody in my family so and thank you so so much to my girl that sent me that then the next one is a book i'm reading and this is one of my favorite books of the year so far and that is the battle belongs to the lord by joyce meyer um her main point in this is what stance do we take when we feel like we're under attack and that is a stance of praise praising him keeping our eyes on him, but praising him constantly through the day. And I've made um, a few notes in here. She says to stop fear and worry, praise him. When we're going through struggles or trials, praise him. When times are good, continue to seek him. Stop looking at your problems and look at God. He will move on your behalf. 
in Numbers 21, we see that when the Israelites were out in the wilderness, they were dying in large numbers because of a plague of snakes that had come upon them as a result of their sin. Moses went and fell down before God and worshiped him. He turned his attention immediately to God. The answer to your problem, whatever it may be, is not worry, but worship. She says, what we need to do is stare at Jesus and glance at our problems, not stare at our problems and glance at Jesus occasionally. This is excellent. I highly recommend it. I will tell you, it's hard to find. I got this at a Mardell here in town, but um, I'm going to link all of them um, that I can find. This was excellent and definitely worth picking up. All right, and that is all of my favorites for the month of May. Um, y'all let me know down below some things that y'all are enjoying so that we can all pick those up and love them with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.